Various biological organisms are genetically programmed for different life spans of a species, some of the living organisms are given a few minutes or hours, while others have been given many centuries of life on this earth. But for some and for others the allotted time is a full-fledged sometimes even happy life, in this video we will look at the centenarians of the animal world, among which there are even immortal species. Alligator Muja is considered the oldest alligator living in captivity, he arrived at the Serbian Zoo in 1937 as an adult male. According to experts, the age of the animal exceeds 80 years. During the Second World War, Belgrade experienced heavy airstrikes, as a result of which almost all the animals of the zoo were killed. But Muja survived, the alligator survived the hard times and remained unharmed. Today, the predator, despite its age, is in good shape and loves to eat birds. Therefore, it can easily outlive another long-lived alligator from India, who lived for 130 years. And this cute lizard Hateria is the oldest species of reptiles, the only modern representative of the ancient order of beak heads. These reptiles appeared about 200 million years ago and have not changed much since then. The body length reaches 76 centimeters, and the weight is 1. 3 kilograms. Not only are these reptiles contemporary with the dinosaurs themselves, but they also live for hundreds of years. It is known that the age of some representatives of this species reaches 200 years. It lives on several small islands in New Zealand. Due to its importance to science and its limited habitat, the tuatara is protected. On all the islands where it lives, a reserved regime has been introduced for about 100 years. All dogs, pigs and cats were taken out from there, rodents were destroyed, as they caused serious damage to the population by destroying their eggs and juveniles. Visiting these islands is now possible only by special invitation, and violators face imprisonment. Among the fish there are also their long livers, for example, koi. Cute fish, which are a specially bred special breed of carp, are decorative domesticated fish bred from the Amur subspecies of carp. A koi carp is considered a fish that has passed six selection selections, after which a certain category is assigned to it. Currently, there are many varieties of koi in Japan, but only 14 color shapes and colorings are considered the standard. Koi are quite expensive, and the cost of one fish can reach $100. But, in addition, they are also known for the ability to live a very long time. The oldest koi in history, named Ganako, has died at the age of 226. Groupers also boast good health, allowing them to overcome the age of 200 years. True, only one species of the Aleutian sea base is capable of such longevity, which are found at depths from 25 to 2830 m, the larger the individual, the greater the depths it prefers. The maximum recorded age of this fish is 205 years. In appearance, they somewhat resemble river perch, but differ so much from it in many features of the external and internal structure that they are attributed not only to another family, but also to another order of fish. The sharp rays of the fins are supplied with poisonous glands, the injection of which causes painful local inflammation. There are about 110 species in the genus Seabass, most of which live in the northern part of the Pacific Ocean, which is the reason for their longevity. In addition to jellyfish, scientists say, there are other marine organisms that can be considered immortal, such as regenerating and ageless sea urchins, but their properties have so far been little studied and practically not described. It is only known that hedgehogs actually have no age. A 100-year-old hedgehog can live just like a 10-year-old. It's quite simple, the larger they are, the older they are. Sea urchins never stop growing. Some of the largest reach 19 centimeters in diameter. They are 200, 300 years old, and maybe more, as scientists suggest. From this, a logical question arises, why even larger individuals are not found if they are immortal. The whole point is that they are destroyed by predators, some diseases and fishermen, but even then they do not show signs of age. The depths of the ocean have been studied much worse than space, and therefore there are many more such discoveries in the near future. For example, a shark was recently caught, which is more than 500 years old and this is far from the limit. To what values, in principle, the individual life span of a complex multicellular animal, for example, a vertebrate, can reach, scientists do not know exactly. 
To find out, you must first understand how long vertebrate animals actually live in nature. And it's not always easy. But little by little the facts are accumulating. An interesting new piece of information on this topic was recently presented to scientists by the Greenland polar shark. This is a shark species that is widespread in the North Atlantic. This is the largest fish that lives permanently in Arctic waters. The usual size of adults is about 4 to 5 meters. At the same time, Greenland sharks grow quite slowly a centimeter per year. This means that there is reason to believe that the largest of them may well be 400 to 500 years old or even more. In 2017, we managed to catch a shark of this species, its size was 5 and a half meters. Her age was determined by radiocarbon dating of the lens of her eye. The error of such an analysis is about 5% for several hundred years, and the analysis showed the age of the shark to be 512 years old, it was studied and released. Based on the DNA of the captured individuals, scientists are trying to understand the mechanism of their longevity and the degree of impact of human civilization on the oceans. According to scientists, the determination of age by the lens of the eye is almost infallible. The fact is that this body has one unique property. Transparent proteins, of which the lens mainly consists, crystallines due to their function are enclosed inside it and practically do not participate in metabolism. And in the center of the lens, in its so-called nucleus, protein molecules that accumulated there even before birth can be stored for life. Obviously, the age of these molecules will be equal to the age of the whole animal. The age of the proteins of the lens nucleus of sharks was determined by the classical radiocarbon method, that is, by the ratio of different types of carbon atoms. This method is usually used to date, for example, archaeological samples, paintings, and in other matters, various remains of something dug out of the ground. Meanwhile, Greenland sharks are also much larger than the caught specimen, which means that their age is many times more than 512 years. Even more interesting, it has long been known that female Greenland sharks reach sexual maturity at a length of about 4 meters, which is about 150 years. Only then does the Greenland shark become an adult. To date, Greenland sharks are considered the longest-lived vertebrates in the world. Scientists say that there is nothing surprising here, with a large size and a deliberately low metabolic rate, slow development is quite natural, and in the icy ocean, a cold-blooded animal cannot have any other metabolism. For a long time, Greenland sharks were caught industrially, but by the beginning of the 21st century, their numbers had declined, and catching was limited. Sharks are clumsy and slow-moving, which makes them easy prey for humans. But among animals, fish have no enemies. Previously, until the bowhead shark was studied, bowhead whales were considered champions in life expectancy among mammals. The bowhead or polar whale can live up to at least 210 years. This whale is the second largest whale in the world, second only to the blue whale. Female bowhead whales have an average body length of 16 to 18 meters, and males from 14 to 17 meters. The body weight of a polar whale varies from 75 to 100 tons. This life expectancy is also due to the slow metabolism in the cold northern waters. Polar whales once inhabited the oceans of the entire northern hemisphere of the Earth, but over the past 300 years, the bowhead whale population has been significantly reduced. Blame it on whaling. Poachers and law-abiding killers have significantly reduced the population of this animal. In pursuit of profit, man used the power of the mind given to him by nature in order to invent tools for killing other living beings. Several centuries of whale hunting have led to the fact that some species are on the verge of extinction, in particular bowhead whales, once their population was hundreds of thousands of individuals, but today scientists believe there are about 7,000 of them left. Long-lived lobsters have also seen more than one generation of sailors. The oldest and largest lobster caught weighed 9 kilograms and was approximately 140 years old. A huge lobster was caught at the end of 2008 in Canada, he was given the name George. At first, the lobster was sold to a local restaurant, but an animal welfare organization intervened and demanded that George be returned to his natural habitat. After 10 days, a miracle happened, and George was released into the wild. A jellyfish called Turritopsis nutricula, believed to be the only immortal creature on the planet, 
geneticists, and biologists are actively studying the jellyfish to understand how it manages to reverse the aging process. Unlike most jellyfish, which die after participating in the reproductive cycle, this jellyfish can again turn into a young sexual individual and is able to repeat this cycle indefinitely. These creatures, representing the class of hydrozoans, die only if they are eaten or killed. A characteristic feature of this species is that, having reached maturity, the jellyfish settles to the bottom and turns into a polyp, then almost forms on the polyp, in which future jellyfish are formed. The most interesting thing is that such metamorphoses are repeated countless times. Initially, Turritopsis nutricula jellyfish lived in the Caribbean Sea, but gradually began to expand their habitat. Now this jellyfish can be found in almost all seas of the tropical and temperate zones. The properties of this jellyfish were first described by Christian Sommer in 1988. He noticed that this jellyfish refused to die, starting the process of rejuvenation, and later the life cycle started anew. It turned out that jellyfish trigger the process of rejuvenation as a result of stress or physical damage. It also became known that the jellyfish in the process of rejuvenation transforms cells from one type to another, approximately in the same way as human stem cells do. Friends, thank you for watching to the end, if it was interesting, support the video with likes, write your comments, which of the centenarians surprised you the most, and we went to prepare a new video for you.